maybe I'm feeling a little turned on right now, actually. Whew. Do you know what? I think I am. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today we're getting real about getting horny. Yes, by the end of watching this video, you, my friend, are gonna be kind of turned on. So if that sounds good to you and like, I'm pretty sure it does, <laughs> then make sure you keep on watching. Guys, gals, non-binary people, you're getting yourself in the mood. Don't want to be really curling them like this. Let me start that again. <laughs> Can I get anything right? Um, so I made a little video a few weeks ago sharing my top tips for getting in the mood and it went off. That video has like half a million views on it now, which is so wild to me. You guys could just not get enough of that video. Like the engagement on it has been great too. Evidently, people want more advice on getting themselves turned on and more ways to do it and more creative ways to do it. So I'm gonna share with you my top three faves. These are my personal three faves, by the way. So yes, these are definitely the ways that I get myself into the mood. And I'm gonna share them with you now. And you're welcome. And when I say welcome, I mean you're welcome. Because you're going to come very well. Okay, this one is partner specific, so it's not going to be particularly useful for single people. If you are single, then you can just skip right on to the next tip. But for anyone who is coupled up or even who just has a friend with benefits at the moment, this tip is going to change your life. Sexting is one of the best and most effective underrated ways to get yourself in the mood. And that is because sexting creates anticipation and anticipation is so key to desire. It is particularly key to sexual desire for people with vulvas. Research shows that for women and people with vulvas, arousal is more contextual. Whereas for people with penises, arousal is more reactive. What does that mean? Well, essentially it means that as a man, you can see your partner get naked and take their clothes off and there's a pretty good chance you're gonna be horny just from that. Someone with a vulva can see their partner take their clothes off and that might not be enough to make them horny even if they think their partner is super duper sexy. People with vulvas, tend to actually need all of the factors surrounding sex to also be right in order for them to get in the mood. So they need to have had some sexy exchanges earlier on with their partner. They need to not be stressed out. They need to not be stressed out from work. They need to not have had an argument with their partner this morning. They need to not be resenting their partner because they didn't take the trash out today. And they need to also be comfortable, which means the environment that they are in, if it is cold, if the lighting is right, all of these factors matter. And sexting really exploits this because sexting helps create that contextual arousal. The best way to sext is to do it throughout the entire day. So say goodbye to your partner in the morning as you both leave for work and then start the sexy messages. Keep them going throughout the day and by the time you both get home, let me tell you, you're both going to be super duper horny. You are both going to be gagging to tear each other's clothes off. Now, a lot of people don't sex because they feel awkward about it and they're like, I'm just not very good with like dirty talk and I, I wouldn't even know what to say. So here is a little hot tip for you and this makes sexting so much easier. Rather than trying to get super creative or talk like what you've seen in porn, literally just describe the last time you had sex with your partner. So after they've left for the day, you can say, I can't stop thinking about the last time I was inside you, dot, dot, dot. Allow them to write something back. They might write back, oh my God, you're so naughty. And then you can write back some more description of that event. You can say, yeah, your body felt so soft and supple and the way your breasts were moving when I was inside you was so sexy. And you can keep going back and forth. And by doing that, you're also going to be encouraging your partner to start sending back their own naughty messages. And it's so easy because you've literally just 
just have to describe what you remember from the last time you had sex. The smells, the tastes, the sounds, how it felt. If you just describe that and you do it throughout the day in little kind of installments, almost like little chapters to a story. By the end of the day, your partner is going to want to reenact that out with you. You are both going to be super duper horny. This one is so simple and so few people do it. But before I go into that, I have to give a really big shout out and a thank you to today's video sponsor, Moments Condoms. Moments condoms are made for anyone who wants to have a good time, but their true passion is empowering women and femme people to celebrate and protect their sexual health and take the stigma away from purchasing condoms. Moments condoms are designed for pleasure and durability. Made from premium quality latex, each and every condom is quality tested to ensure you always feel protected. Emblazoned with fun slogans to take the intimidation factor out of carrying condoms, Moments want everyone to feel confident about prioritizing their sexual health because having safe sex shouldn't be taboo or gender specific. Grab a purse sized tin or try a pack of their new ultra thin range, which comes with extra lubrication and is available in regular, large and extra large. You can find them at over 600 Cole supermarkets Australia wide or hit the link below this video and use code Nadia50 for 50% off when you spend $20 or more. Did you know that just being in harsh, bright light lighting can actually make it harder for you to get horny. That's because lights can actually have an impact on our cortisol levels. Those are our stress hormones. And when our cortisol levels are high, it is very difficult for us to get turned on. So a great way to bring our cortisol levels down and increase the chances of us getting super duper horny is to simply dim the lights and create lots of soft lighting. Now this is great if you're about to get down and dirty with a partner or if you're just getting down and dirty on your own, you're just having some solo time. Turn the lights down if you've got dimmer lights, perfect. If not, turn the lights off and light some candles. This is also why a candlelit bath is a great way to get yourself in the mood. It is that soft dim lighting that has a very significant impact on our bodies by allowing us to get relaxed. And when we are relaxed, it is way easier for us to get horny. This is another partner focus technique. However, this one can actually be replicated on your own with similar effects. So this comes back to some research that was done in the 60s around arousal and around the ways that people get turned on. And the researchers found that the most effective way for people with vulvas to get super turned on super quickly was to be touched in ways that didn't involve the breasts or genitals. And again, this goes back to that concept I mentioned in the first tip of creating anticipation. What you can do is circle around your partner's breasts and trace a line around the outside of their vulva, but don't actually touch their vulva or their breasts or their nipples. You can lick around them, around the outer area of them with your tongue, but again, don't actually squeeze them, don't lick them, don't suck them as badly as I know you want to. We all want to, but just hold off. You can obviously touch them eventually, but you wanna leave a few minutes where you're not, where you're actually concentrating on other erogenous zones, like the neck, which can be incredibly erotic and super erogenous for many, many people. Like the lips, this is one of the most underrated ways to turn someone with a vulva on is by deep, passionate, extended kissing. It is so common for people, particularly once they get in relationships, to forget to actually kiss each other in the way that they used to when they first got together and they would just like make out for ages. It's so easy, even when you're having sex, to not really kiss a lot. And extended kissing is a really great way to get someone with a vagina super wet, super quickly, like if a partner is giving me a deep, passionate kiss, it is wet down there within like 15 seconds. Like it is a surefire route to my horniness. And then once you've done that for a little while and you've teased and touched around, then you can absolutely touch their breasts and you can touch their vulva. And you can do this on yourself. You can tease your own body until you get super worked up and then allow yourself to actually touch your genitals and get yourself off. And you're welcome. Gosh, I am just 
loving spreading the horniness. Like, what a job to have that I just come on YouTube and I help people get horny. I'm really not mad about it, like not mad about it at all. If you have some of your own little tips for getting in the mood and getting in the mood quickly and you're feeling brave, share them in the comment section down below. And if you would like more advice on getting in the mood, give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you're new here, consider hitting the subscribe button because I would love to have you join my sex positive family. I'm here every single week on YouTube, bringing you new sex education content and maybe some content as well to help you get a little turned on. Hopefully, maybe you might even be feeling a little turned on right now. Maybe I'm feeling a little turned on right now, actually. Whew. Do you know what? I think I am. I think I'm going to go and uh, ease some tension. <laughs> and with that said, I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah.